good evening. Good evening. It's good to see all of you here. I'm so glad you joined us tonight for Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to all of you. Uh, and Merry Christmas to all who are joining us online. It's good to have you as well. One of our morning traditions here on a Sunday is to ask for any joys or concerns for our prayer list this evening. Does anybody have anybody on their hearts that we should be praying for? Pastor, please. Uh, we need Judy uh, to please. Judy? Okay, sure. We can definitely pray for Judy. Any, oh, Marlene, go ahead. Caitlin and Casey, they both are positive for COVID. Caitlin and Casey, they're positive for COVID, okay? Any others? Yes, right. I have um, Cal and Ron, who are both positive for COVID, they're my sisters in law and my niece, and my husband are both positive for COVID. That's Becca and Javier. Becca and Javier. Javier, okay. Any other folks on our heart? Yes, <coughs> Say it again. Terry and her family. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. And then go ahead. We'll continue to pray for Zeke. For Zeke, yes, of course. He's on for my earlier list, yes. Yes, he is. He, he had some joys today, so they're starting to make some progress, but uh, yeah, Zeke continues to need healing prayers. Anybody else behind me? Yes. Ruth Kruger, um, wrote for Peter, and she is in rehab. Ruth, yes. Okay. Any other thoughts on our prayer list today? Josh and uh, Alicia and Samuel. Josh, Alicia, and Samuel. And all those who were in the fire in San Diego. They were removed from their from Camp Pendleton. Okay. Yeah, the wildfires. Okay. Any other thoughts for our prayer list today? Well, I'm so glad that you joined us for worship. Let us prepare our hearts for worship as we listen to our prelude.
Let us come together to worship the Messiah, our God and our King. We come to see the Savior of the world. We come to worship the God meets us here and now. God calls us to, to turn back to our Creator, the one who made us and loves us. We turn to God, our Creator, and are thankful for the child of Jesus who comes to change the world. Let us worship together as we meet Jesus in this place. Amen. Almighty God, you know us inside and out. You are always with us, and you never leave us or forsake us. We cannot escape your love. You formed us, and you know us before we were born. You watch over us, and you always hear our prayers. We come before you now, wanting to hear your voice. Forgive us for the times that we have turned away from you, and bring us closer to your spirit once again. Amen. Amen. Let us now confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God of love. We confess that we have turned away from you. We have not always trusted you. We let worry and fear overwhelm us. We do not always treat our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may know your deep love for us in him, and glorify your holy name in all that we say and do. Amen. God so loved the world that he sent Jesus. Our Savior came down from heaven, was crucified and died for us and for all our sins. As a minister of the Church of Christ, I declare to you that through Christ, God forgives you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God has never left you. God loves us all beyond all understanding. Return to God now with joyful hearts, ready to accept God's gift of grace. Amen. Amen. Please join us now for our gathering hymn.
salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, bless the name of the Lord. 
Proclaim God's salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations and God's wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But you, O Lord, have made the heavens. Majesty and magnificence are in your presence. Power and splendor are in your sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor to the holy name. Bring offerings and enter the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before the Lord, all the earth. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is King, the one who made the world so firm that it cannot be moved, will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder at all that is in it. Let the field be joyful at all that it is therein. Then, then shall, shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy at your coming, O Lord, for you come to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with your truth. The second reading is from the second chapter of Titus, verses 11 to 14. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
comes from St. Luke, the second chapter. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Curianus was the governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house of and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth. And she laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone back into heaven, the angels said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So the shepherds went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated.
Old Testament scriptures, God did a lot of judging. God did a lot of speaking through the prophets. God used a lot of special effects with fire. God spoke in dreams. God put on quite a show with the parting of the Red Sea. God moved water. God moved groups of people. God spoke through prophets. A Messiah was predicted, a savior, some being who would bring salvation to God's people. Someone who would bring a message of love and mercy. Hundreds of years later, Isaiah's prophecy came true. A Messiah was born. Yeshua. He would be called Jesus, or Yeshua. God came to a lowly group of shepherds first. Lowly yet chosen to, by God to tell the good news. God uses all kinds of people in the Old and the New Testament to speak to others. So finally, after the world waited and waited, our salvation was born in a major among animals and a stable, kind of like this one. The shepherds were freaked out. Imagine the glory of the Lord shining all around you. But God says to them, do not be afraid. The angel says, do not be afraid, for I am bringing good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. So then a whole bunch of angels showed up praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Good news. Joy. Messiah. Angels. Peace. I think these are all things that we could use right now. They were also things that the Jewish people in the Roman world needed at the time that Jesus was born. God wanted to know what it was like. God wanted to know all of this. God knew there would be another way to help these human beings he created that would keep messing up. God wanted to help the human beings who kept sinning or turning away from God. God had to find a way to connect with the people he loved and created. God had to find a way to love us all and to know what it's like to be human, to be just like you and me, to live like we live. Now, last Sunday, some of you may or may not have been here, but I spoke about the world's deep hunger for a savior. Some of you may remember that I compared it to the character of Scrooge in A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Now, Scrooge hungered for human kindness, and he didn't even know it until the end of the story where he changed his ways. He didn't know kindness until he truly felt it deep down after each spirit had softened his heart. Now, Scrooge became more and more generous with his kindness. And the awesome part of the story is that this is not the end. This was just the beginning. Scrooge began a ripple effect where more and more people shared that kindness. And with that kindness came great joy. Our greatest joy this night is the Savior that we've hungered for. The Savior whose best news, it's the best news we've had this year. Our greatest gift this day is the baby Jesus. The angel said, to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. This will be a sign for us. It is a sign. And it's a sign tonight that better things are to come. This crazy year will pass us by. And if we can let it go like Scrooge let his past go, if we can move past all of this and show kindness, our kindness will spread. 
We are called to spread the love of Christ. Good news, joy, Messiah, angels, peace. They're all things that we could all use right now and we could use to spread them too. God calls each of us to spread this good news just like Scrooge was compelled to spread the joy of his life once again. We are called and we're commanded by Jesus to spread love, to spread this kindness and joy that came to us so long ago. We're called to spread the joy, the peace, the hope and light in a year that's been full of darkness and fear. The message that those angels brought to the shepherds long ago rings true for us today. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Dearest Lord Jesus, on the night of your birth, we are thankful that you have pulled many of us through this year. We have been changed by this year, but we continue to go on. Grant us courage to face the year ahead, and grant us peace and hope and joy in your presence. Let us each feel your love this night as we celebrate the birth of a Savior. We ask all these things, and we ask that you hear the prayers of our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with his God and his Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated.
You bless us with all that we have. You have changed our lives forever through the great love and with your gift of grace. Grant us courage to change the lives of others with your good news. Bless our congregation, this community, and all the offerings we give back to you for your holy work. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. The heavens and angels sing in praise. All the earth is full of joy at Jesus' birth. Come, let us adore Christ our Lord and kneel before God with our prayers. Almighty God, may your church all over the world proclaim the good news of your Son's birth. Provide us with resources to keep your creation thriving and restore habitats. Protect all animals and ecosystems on land, seas, skies, deserts, rainforests, and mountains. Lord, hear our prayer. Prince of Peace, bring stillness and safety to all places which suffer violence and war. Grant wisdom to leaders of all nations. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, our Emmanuel, you bring hope and healing to all who suffer in mind, body, or spirit. Send your healing presence to all those on our hearts this Christmas Eve, especially those we name now or in our hearts. Ruth, Josh, yeah, Alicia, Sam, 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 Zeke, Judy, Caitlin, Lacey, Carol, Ron, Becca, Javier, Hold them all in your loving care. Lord, hear our prayer. Ever faithful God, we lift all our prayers to you and we trust that you hear us. In the name of Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Amen. Lord, be with you. grace and 
in love. On the night before Jesus would face suffering and death, he sat with his disciples and gave thanks. He broke bread and said, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, Jesus took the cup. He gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. God, God of all time, as we celebrate Jesus' birth in this Christmas meal, we pray for the gift of your Spirit to be among us in our gathering, among your people, and throughout the world. May all glory and praise, honor, power, and might be to you, our God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I invite you now to prepare your cup with your wafer. And after we sing, Lamb of God, we will partake of communion together. Your woe word, O God, is revealed in a manger. You are with us in this bread and wine. Come, meet Christ in this meal. Thanks, gracious God, that you have once again fed us from your very self with the body and blood of Christ. Through this mystery, send us forth to proclaim your promise to the world in need. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Messiah. Amen. of our candles. Our symbol of light is a glow stick this year, so I invite you to get your glow stick ready. And we will hear some words from John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. 
What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all may believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become the children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, or the will of human beings, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
often or you're a brand new visitor, we'd love to keep in touch with you in the year ahead. So please make sure uh, you can sign our book in the back. Uh, there's hand sanitizer back there if it makes you feel more comfortable. Um, we also ask for the sake of our cleaning crew that you do take all items with you as you leave, the glow stick, the bulletin, um, everything, just to keep us all as safe as you can. Um, there are also envelopes in the back. If you're a member who hasn't picked up your envelopes yet, feel free to do that. They are there. Uh, next Sunday, December 27th, we will be totally online just for that Sunday. So please join us on our, on our website and you will see our service online. Also, I want to extend a personal invitation to all of you. On January 17th, you'll see it in your bulletin, I'm doing a special retreat with everybody. I don't care if you're a neighbor, a visitor, a friend of the congregation. I would like us all there to brainstorm and sort of refresh our ideas for our ministry in the year ahead. So I'm a new pastor here for some of you who don't know that. So it's a good time to do some planning and some brainstorming together. Are there any other announcements from any, any folks from Grace? All right, well with that, I wish you a very Merry Christmas, and let, me, let us now pray together our final prayer. Let us pray. Dearest Lord Jesus, in this time of holy worship, you have refreshed us with your holy word. We find hope and joy again because of God's love come down in Jesus. Send us forth now as witnesses of the good news of your birth that we also may be a light for the world. In the name of Jesus, our Emmanuel. Amen. Amen. Please rise. Now may God bless you and keep you. Know that God is closest to you when you feel furthest away. May Jesus' example of great love guide you in all that you do. And may the Holy Spirit shine in you and bring others closer to God's love and give you joy. Amen. Amen. Join us now for our final hymn. <clears throat>